Super Agency WME IMG, which rebranded as Endeavor back in October of 2017, is making a deeper push into owning the rights to live sports and streaming. Back in 2016, UFC sold itself to a group of buyers for $4 billion. That group included WME. It was the most expensive sale of a sports organization in history. And now WME has acquired New Lion, a streaming video service in an all-cash deal for $250 million. Dan, a lot going on here. Yeah. New Lion is known for streaming things like soccer and other niche sports. Uh, what does this deal mean exactly, not just for the companies, but for the space in general? Yeah, so a little bit to unpack. New Lion not a name necessarily that any old Yahoo Finance viewer will know, not necessarily so consumer facing, but I would compare it to ML BAM, which we talk about a lot. Similarly, not everyone knows ML BAM, but a huge business that Major League Baseball spun off as its own tech company, and then Disney acquired it in full. And they do streaming video for a number of places, not just Major League Baseball, HBO Go. New Lion is like a BAM competitor, and in fact, New Lion was in the news for the wrong reasons maybe four years ago. It was the existing streaming provider of all NHL, and it lost that contract to ML BAM. That's right, Major League Baseball's video division handles video streaming for NHL, which is kind of cool and funky. Shows you how good ML BAM is at what it does. New Lion now, what does it still do? Well, it streams UFC. If you, if you pay to watch a UFC fight online, it's likely New Lion that is powering that back-end technology. New Lion also streams all of the NFL games outside the U.S. So if you're a British person and you pay to watch a, an NFL game online, it's New Lion that is bringing you that service. So it's better known outside the U.S. Now, WME IMG, or as you say, Endeavor, much better name, coming in and buying it for, by the way, this isn't that big of a deal, 250 million, eh, not that expensive, pretty smart. And not that surprising, as you said, WME IMG led the acquisition of the UFC. This is the company that streams UFC fights. So now it's just sort of gathering the rest of the mm -hmm. pieces of the UFC ecosystem. But what is the larger story here? The larger story here is the continued growth, two things. A, uh, WME IMG, I should just start saying Endeavors, foothold in all things sports, not just as an agency anymore, but now content. Mm -hmm. Endeavor pushing into content. And B, the ongoing race, which I love tracking, and it heats up every week. Every week there's a new deal announced of the race over sports streaming rights. All right, YouTube TV has ramped up. It just cut a big deal with the NBA. It's going to have a lot of new content. Twitter, Facebook, all of them every week are incrementally growing and buying up little rights because they want to have live sports on their platform. They want sports fan cord cutters to think of them as the place to go to watch live sports online without a TV, without a cable subscription. So Endeavor is getting into that game. Yeah, I think it's very interesting just thinking about uh, the whole sports ecosystem in the context of like the Facebook news, right? That's basically saying that the online display ad business is okay, but kind of susceptible to all sorts of problems. But if you own content, live content, F1 was sold last year for a billion dollars, UFC, right. NFL, NBA, all these live sports where you know that it's not, you know, fake news, basically. Basically, uh, you want to own that asset, and then, of course, with New Lion and ML, and ML Bantech, you own the way to get it to consumers. Right, and it's funny to bring it back to something you and I were discussing on our new 10:30 a.m. Facebook Live show the this morning. morning the yeah. morning meeting. Right. We were talking about how there are so many different options now, so many different platforms that have original series, that is, television shows, you know, fiction. Yeah. But I don't know that every person necessarily knows off the top of their head where is that show. For example, on the show this morning, I said wrong. Oh, Handmaid's Tale is Netflix. Actually, it's Hulu. Hulu. Yeah. I said it wrong on the show. But the point is, when you want to watch a certain show, you will seek out the place it is. All right, I go to Hulu for this. I go to Netflix for this. I go to Amazon Prime for this show. Sports, eventually, I think, is going to be the same way. You want to watch the game tonight. You Google it. Where is it? It's on Twitter. All right, I'll watch it live on Twitter. You don't have TV. You don't want to pay for cable. But in a week, you want to watch the UFC fight. Where is it? Oh, that one is on Facebook. Okay, I'll go to Facebook. Wherever it is, you'll go there. So it's actually a shift in the traditional philosophy of we want to be where consumers are. We'll go to them. Now it's, we're going to buy up the rights to certain games. We'll take whatever we can get, and maybe that'll get consumers to come to us.